in America, we have to start producing potential presidents for each of the parties, including Libertarian, at an early age. Now, it's very possible that Vice President Harris sort of knows this, that the future of the Democratic Party begins in children. But here's the deal. If children's schooling systems are not educating them on the rights and responsibilities of American citizenry, and if we're offering free education to illegal aliens' children, then how are we preparing them to be American citizens? Are they set aside in a separate track within American school systems that give them the track back to their own country so that the education they're getting allegedly for free in America goes back to improving their societies? Or are we just enabling people who've done things illegally and immorally in America to enable their children to win here without the lawful right to even be here. I didn't quite understand the Dreamers program. It got passed and moved through quickly, but maybe it's just all lip service. Maybe it's just a PR stunt by the White House to keep people off the fact that we are mitigating possibilities of war. You see, our coins, at least in this community, are changing somewhat illustriously to have pictures and images of war on them. Usually, a person sees the newscast about how everybody should be paying attention to the quarters being released. Yippee, hurrah, we've got new ideas. But at the same time, it's very possible that Trump knew that America would be at war someday because of what he has been able to see as he has traveled all over the world as a multi-millionaire, possibly a billionaire, in his privy of being an international stockholder or an international businessman. The value of having a business person or someone who's made some serious cash in their lifetime as Americans' president is simple. They understand the tax brackets. They probably understand the laws. They get a sense of what can and can't come from America. But you have to be sort of seasoned in your life to really understand how to become president. So a lot of the people who put their hats in the reign of being in the ring of trying to become president were good people, were full of lots of experience about peace and love and opportunity. Or maybe they had experience being some sort of a senator, and that's okay. But running a state is different than running a whole nation. And ruining a state is no different than ruining a nation. So as while well, these people are probably continuing their positions, one might guess, or have the potential to do so, what are they doing during the next four years to grow their education about how to interact with the moral world across the seas. You see, American borders only stay safe when Americans themselves understand the risk to their lives of helping an illegal alien here. Many Christian churches are helping illegal aliens here. Many American churches are having inter interfaith conversations with Muslims and other people who got here, but how did they get here? How long are they supposed to stay here? And are you not putting your congregations and your whole legal aspect of your organization at risk if you're helping illegal citizens? America has laws that protect our lives and our livelihood from abusers of American citizens. 